What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Corey B. So what I want to talk about is motivation. So it's easy to, you know, come up with this idea of what your dream is, what your business is, what your goals are. It's easy to start formulating plans and start mapping out how you're going to get there. And it's easy, even, even easy to, you know, say, get on top of those plans and start initiating things and making things move forward. But, you know, the, the problem is, is that obstacles are going to happen. Walls are going to get put up in front of you. You know, life is going to kick you in the teeth. And as these things happen and as things get in your way, then it's like you can lose sight of your goal. You lose sight of your goal. You lose sight of the ultimate, the end, what you were looking for. Or even more important, you get focused on that goal. You see the end where you're trying to get to. You see how far it seems away. You see how like you're not getting the clients or you're not getting the sales or you're not getting you know, the, the traffic, you're not getting whatever it is that you're trying to get, you know, you're not reaching that goal. And as you're not generating, you know, more momentum, then you lose sight of your motivation. Like what made you start doing this in the first place? You know, you wanted a better life for yourself. You wanted a better life for your family. You wanted a better life for your kids. You wanted to do something for the community that you grew up in that, you know, maybe uh, might be struggling or something or might be just, uh, you know, just you wanted to offer something back to the neighborhood. Um, maybe you wanted to be able to help different groups of people. You know, whatever it is, whatever your motivation is, whatever in, got you on that path in the first place, you lose sight of that. And when you lose sight of that, then what are you doing it all for? And if you don't know why you're doing it all, then you're never going to get there. Because you're never going to stay on track. Your focus is going to be lost. I think one of the key aspects is to not lose sight of why you started. Not lose sight of not just what you're going for, but why you want to get there. And if you can keep, if you can keep a hold of that, I think something... I think something to remember is, is that, you know, see, I do a lot of, I do this, I do this for Kimberly and for my boys and, um, I want to, I want to, I want to build something great for them. I want to, I want to build a better life for them. And I want to be able to, you know, you know, be there for my family to help my family out. I want to be able to, you know, our extended family. I want to be able to, you know, give back to my community and continue to, I want to be able to contribute more to my church. There's, there's so many things that I want to do. There's lots of motivation, but first and foremost is, you know, I want to do something great for Kimberly and the boys. I really do. And, um, Colton, Corey too, but definitely Colton. Colton stays on me. On a daily basis, he'll he'll check in with me and ask me my my numbers, my quotas. He was like, "What are you doing this? What are you doing? Have you have you done this today? Have you done that today? Have you posted a video? Have you uh you know have you sent out some offers? Have you contacted these people or that people? Like, I mean, he's 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 really in tune with what I'm doing, and he asks lots of questions about it. Uh, he asks questions about my stocks that I'm investing in. Like, I mean, he really is uh, involved. And see, so something that that keeps me motivated is him and um, I've got some great people that I work with um, I've got a business partner we do investing with I got you know my homeboy Garrett who me and him are both trying to build some things for our families uh, build uh, like a, a lasting business but more than a business like a legacy something that's gonna carry on with them and as we're trying to do this like something that I keep in the back of my mind all the time and I and I you know on a daily basis I gotta remind myself because things get hard and things get challenging and I gotta remind myself you know it's like when you drop the ball when you not when you fail. It's not when you fail. It's, it's that when you fail to try or when you don't give it all you've got. When you stop giving it all you've got, you don't just let down yourself and your own goals, but you let down those people who believe in you. Those people who've had your back the whole way. The people who were like right there cheering you on. Like, you know, I, I know you, Corey, I know you got this. This is going to be great, man. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. If I drop the ball, if I don't give all I've got, not only do I let down myself, not only do I let down Corey and Kimberly, but Colton's on me every day. I mean, what kind of message am I sending my little man if I can't give everything I've got? You know, I'm letting down Kimberly, I'm letting down the boys, I'm letting down Garrett, I'm letting down Z, I'm letting down those people who believe in me and who, who went to bat for me if I don't give all I've got. So I want you to keep that in your mind.
when you when you when you're building today when you're when you're out there and you're 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 hustling you're grinding you're working on you know leveling up the next the next you know venture the next avenue the next thing you're trying to get pushed forth in your business just remember if you're not giving it everything you've got those who believe in you those are the ones you're letting down because they believe you they know they know you're capable and if you don't do it it's them that you dropped all right it's your boy Corey b y'all make sure and hit that subscribe button ding that bell get your notifications till next time y'all get cocky let's get it done